Remember when I spoke about new upgrades for the aircraft? It just dropped in the PTR server and I must admit it looks a little overwhelming. And with a little I mean very overwhelming. Keep in mind that the PTR server is a test environment and things could still change upon final release. Visually it just adds some lightning bolts to your aircraft and when you upgrade to level 100 there is an orange glow around your aircraft and helicopter. But there is way more to uncover in the tactical analysis screen. But before we take a deep dive into the new aircraft upgrades, did you see what I did there? I want to introduce you to today's video sponsor. Thanks to Paxify, you can save a lot of money on bundles. With their fast and new onboarding system, you can start buying discounted bundles at a very fast rate. If you are interested, make sure to click the link in the description. In total, there are two new materials. First of all, we have the coordinated operation data, which is used to up the level of your tactical analysis. And secondly, we have the tactical analysis manuals. These manuals are needed to upgrade the research nodes. One important thing to note for your upgrade journey is that you need tactical points. For example, if you look at this specific skill, you can see that one of the requirements is a tactical point. Now, there's only one way to obtain these tactical points. For upgrading every five levels in the formation system upgrades, you get one of these points. This basically means you have to upgrade the level of your formation system and the research nodes simultaneously throughout your upgrading journey. The max level for the formation system is level 280. There are three main categories of upgrades. Shield, Combo and Force. Shield seems to be protection based skills. Combo seems to explore the combo skills more. Those are the skills that make the Limitless Hero so great. And Force is a completely new value. So I absolutely have no idea what that does. And since State of Survival has a history of wrong and vague descriptions, I won't get into that today. So make sure you are subscribed for that information. Another interesting button is the Reset button. It rearranges all your skill upgrades to zero and you get all tactical points back. So for example, if you made some mistakes while upgrading, you can completely reset the upgrading process and rearrange the skills accordingly. There's also an exchange button worked in, which allows you to exchange aircraft and helicopter materials for tactical manuals and data manuals. Besides the shield, force and combo skills, you also get some basic stats with these upgrades. I was able to upgrade to level 148, which gives me around 80% extra specific troop stats. This is without upgrading these research nodes. By upgrading those, you get additional basic stats. Now, one thing I found interesting is that you don't have to pick a specific talent. If you look in the hangar, you can see that the slot for a second skill is still closed. I'm not sure if this is intended or if it's a bug. It is the PTR server for a reason. I'm sure you might be wondering when this will come into the live game and nobody really knows, but we know there is an update scheduled on the 8th of March. Another money grab or something interesting. I'll let you be the judge and let me know your opinion in the comments. If you ask me, it looks strong, but that's not really a measurement nowadays, because literally every feature looks strong. Anyways, that's all for me for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to slap a like, and I'll see you soon for a new video. Bye!